Oh my god, dude. No way. Uh. I like have like a hard time wrapping my mind around the whole thing. It's just like so personal. It's like a lot. <laughs> what is up everyone? Welcome back to Project Fear. What you are about to watch is some of the most controversial videos we've ever done. For this new road trip, we are calling it the Haunted House Tour. Each of us chose one of the most haunted houses in the country. I picked the first location on this trip, and I took us to The Conjuring House. The terrifying home that inspired the first Conjuring movie. So we began filming three weeks before our good friends Sam and Colby released their series at The Conjuring House. So after filming their Conjuring series, Sam and Colby actually called us over to their house to watch the footage because they were so mind blown by what they experienced. So in their video, they met with paranormal investigators, Cody and Satori. Now, Cody and Satori claim to have a unique ability that we have never seen before. They would link their hands and recite the alphabet. A, B, C, D. They would then get loud knocking noises to come through in the room, landing on specific letters. So they were spelling stuff out. They were almost like a human Ouija board. Not only were they able to communicate with the spirits of the Conjuring House, but something even more shocking happened. Sam and Colby had the spirits of their deceased relatives come through. Some of these family members they didn't even know existed. After watching this raw footage and seeing the unedited stuff, I wanted to follow up. And that's why I took us to The Conjuring House for our very first stop. Now, as some of you may know, there has been much skepticism and controversy regarding Cody and Satori's abilities. Because we filmed our videos before the release of Sam and Colby's, we weren't exposed to any of that public skepticism. We had no reason to be skeptical. We had no reason to doubt. We just went in with extremely open minds and that's what we did. However, as of very recently, we did meet back up with Cody and Satori and we had a long sit down conversation with them where we were able to ask them all of the hard questions and press them on all of the public's theories and everything. That video, that sit down video with them will be uploaded after both of our Conjuring videos have aired. So definitely keep an eye out for that. So yes, that's it. That's all. I felt like I needed to say that just at the top of this video, just so everyone understands the timeline. But now that everyone's caught up, let's get into the video. Let's cut to a traveling montage and get into the video. What's up, YouTube? What's up, dog? We're getting rental cars. Rental cars. Okay, seriously though, how long does it take to pick up a couple of cars and pick your friend Alex up, who's sitting down here at the airport, looking like a loner, and all getting rental cars? Oh, comment down below if you've ever been alone. Get in. Jesus. What up, player? Get in, we're hunting ghosts. <laughs> 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 Haunted House Tour! Oh, uh, locked myself in again. <laughs> One of these deals. Dang, dude, that red on your face makes you look evil. Yeah, you look ah! <laughs> scary. <laughs> silence is awkward. <laughs> Let's just try it. Let's just try silence for once. Let's just see what it's like. I fucking hate it. Oh, I hate it. 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 I hate it's it. so I bad. It. It's so bad. It's so bad. I think we should try it one more time. You actual imbecile for what? bringing us to the Conjuring House for the first <laughs> stop. Super goofy guy. <laughs> it's gonna be brand new. This is a totally different trip for us. 
And yeah, we are going to the Conjuring House. It's gonna be really scary. This is actually probably one of the most famous places that we've ever been to. The Conjuring movie, when it first came out, that scared the living piss out of me. And now that we're actually going to the place that it was based off of, I'm actually, like, my anxiety is at an all-time high right now. Are we calling this the Project Fear Haunted House Tour? Yes. Uh, Haunted so. House Tour, baby. This type of tour that we're doing really hits close to our home yeah. because we grew up in a haunted house. Yeah, that's what sparked our interest in the paranormal. There were some things that were like, like just really heavy in our home. I feel like we're gonna be able to re relate to the stories a lot. And now we're going to relive that in these other houses. If, you'll, if you've made it this far, make sure you like and subscribe. Like it! Like it now! Right now we're going to the Airbnb and uh, we're gonna kind of change things up a little bit with this video. We're just gonna get the packet redone tonight so that tomorrow when we arrive, we can get right to business. It's a little bit nippy outside. A little bit nippy. It's going, we're here, we're at the Airbnb. We finally made it. We're about to read a packet. This is it, this is crazy. We're doing it. Time to get nightmares. Time for nightmares. Woohoo! nightmare time, yeah. let's do it. Ah, uh, here we go. Who wants to start us off? I think Al should. You haven't really ever started. I don't think so. There we go, Al. <sighs> okay. All right, guys. <sighs> the Conjuring House. Formerly known as the Arnold Estate, this magnificent homestead dates back to the 18th century and has survived countless storms, including both the Revolutionary and Civil War. And it still sits on its original stone foundation. The structure was completed in 1736, 40 years before the Declaration of Independence was signed. Whoa, that's actually wild. That's a wild fact. It's probably one of the oldest houses we could come across in this country. But the chilling story of this infamous house starts in the winter of 1971. Roger and Carolyn Perrin and their five daughters moved into what they would believe to be their dream house. A large plot of open land, fresh air, and a charming farmhouse offered the family everything they needed for a brand new beginning, despite the previous owner's eerie warning to keep your lights on at night. The family had optimistic hopes for settling down and creating lasting memories in their new home. They got some memories, that's for sure, but not the kind that they had been hoping for. And now we're gonna get to the creepy stuff. The Ugh. stuff that inspired the movie. Oh, God. <laughs> <sighs> okay. The haunting started out slow, but almost immediately the family was experiencing paranormal activity that they could not explain away. Household items would go missing and turn up in mysterious places. Carolyn claimed that she would constantly hear scratching coming from the kettle on the stove. Over time, the experiences became more sinister and obvious. The daughters would awaken in the middle of the night to their bedroom doors opening and slamming shut. One night, one of the daughters, Cindy, was fast asleep when she was abruptly awakened by a ghostly voice that she did not recognize, saying, there are seven dead soldiers in the walls, over and over again. God, that's so freaky. The youngest of the parent daughters is said to have befriended a spirit that lived in her closet. They nicknamed him Oliver. The entire family would experience the distinctive scent of rotting flesh permeating throughout the home, seemingly out of nowhere. That sounds like evil. Yeah. That mm -hmm. doesn't sound like just your normal poltergeist. There's like one scene in the movie that I hope is not listed in here. Does it have to do with clapping? Yes! Oh no, that's a part of it that's, still? Is that a real thing? That's a thing. <laughs> that's a that part was like the creepiest part. The mother, Carolyn, would also frequently spot the apparition of an elderly woman with her head cocked to the side.
Carolyn received the brunt of the more sinister encounters. Okay, can wow, the a cocked neck like like this type stuff, like a what? broken neck or something. Uh, yeah, that's really freaky. As if it could get any creepier. <laughs> Just a bent neck. Eventually. Carolyn enlisted the help of local paranormal investigators. They quickly realized they were in over their heads and contacted Ed and Lorraine Warren. The case of the Perrin family is considered one of the most famous and terrifying cases that they have ever been called to. I knew the house was haunted. All I had to do was walk in it. We just had to find the source. They believe that the malevolent spirit that was threatening the Perrin family was that of Bathsheba Sherman, who lived in the area. Although the Warrens may have believed that Bathsheba's spirit was that to blame, there is no evidence of this to be true. The people who run the place today, the people who operate it now, like they don't know. So many different layers <laughs> of history are stuck on that land, so it literally could be anything. During one of the investigations, Lorraine performed a seance to contact one of the spirits. One of the daughters, Andrea, has said that she secretly witnessed this seance. But I saw it all with my own eyes. And what I know is that whatever attacked her was not of this world. It spoke through her in a language that does not exist on this planet. It levitated her in the chair that she was in. And within a split second when it was done, it threw her into the adjacent parlor about 20 feet away. After the seance, Roger kicked the Warrens out for fear of his wife's mental state. The parents continued to live in the farmhouse until 1980. Can you imagine sneaking into a seance and your mom is like levitating, speaking in tongues, like as a kid? That would mess me right up. Well, you're supposed to get your confidence from your parents. Like if you get scared, you, your parents can kind of calm you down. But when your parents are terrified, like there goes all the confidence. Today, the real Conjuring House is considered one of the most desirable places to investigate by paranormal explorers. People have claimed to witness many paranormal activities throughout the house that include the sounds of hands clapping out of thin air, disembodied voices, toy balls rolling around the floor on their own, and much more. With the hands clapping thing, if that happens tomorrow, I'm going to freak out. I cannot see that bent neck later. I'm retiring. <laughs> <laughs> I will be done. Chelsea retired. She retired. She peed her pants and then retired. <laughs> we are going to the Conjuring House because it's so iconic. But another reason we're going to the Conjuring House is because of what Sam and Colby did experience there. They came home from the Conjuring House, called everyone over to their house to watch the footage. And they were so shocked. They met with two paranormal investigators, Cody and Satori. We will be following up with what Sam and Colby experienced there because it was so next level. That part I'm actually like super curious about because I, I, I don't think I've stopped thinking about that ever since they showed us that footage. Like that's been on my mind every single day. Mm -hmm. It's been one of those things where it's just like, I can't wait to see what actually happens with Cody and Satori. Well, let's Dude. try to get some sleep tonight. <laughs> All right, okay, man. I was a little tired when we got here, and now I'm like wide awake. Yeah. I am like all in my own head right now. Conjuring House is like staple location. And recently, we actually know people that have had a crazy experience there. When we get to the house, we will be meeting with Cody and Satori. We want to see Cody and Satori in person performing their gifts, doing this, this, I don't even know what to call it. I don't know. It's so weird because it's one of the most bizarre in-your-face responses. And it, it, like when we saw the footage, it confused the hell out of all of us. They don't just communicate with the spirits of the location, but they can. I actually have access to communicating with spirits from people's lives. I don't understand it. And I don't think even tonight we're gonna fully even scratch the surface of what they're able to do and like talk to. We're gonna meet with them. We're gonna have them just try to explain to us their abilities, their gifts, what they can do. I think that's that part of the there. barn. That's it, that's, that's it, that's it, it right that's there. It. That's it. Oh my 
God. Oh, this is it. Wow. No way. This is where it all happened, guys. There it is. Oh my God, dude. I'm actually like shaking right now. I'm really nervous. Well. Hello, Cody Hello. and Satori. How are you guys? We're good. We're doing all right. Good. More nervous by the second, but. So, we have a lot to talk about. We got to see the footage from you guys and Sam and Colby. Like, how do you guys explain it to people, what you do? Do you guys hold hands or you just have yes. to be touching, right? Yes. Yeah, we found that the wrists are the best for some reason. Like okay. when, when one of us grabs the other one's wrist. A lot of people actually call us a human Ouija board. I feel like we're a very safe human Ouija board. Um, but, you know, they'll, if they have words they want to say, we'll spell it out that way. We'll get full sentences. You will hear them if they're there. Like, you will hear them walk into the room and walk around. So they might get close to you. So don't freak out if they do. They're just kind of watching you and watching the situation. This is like kind of the first year or two that we really even started talking about. It publicly we kept it a secret for about three to four years i'm super curious to get to the bottom of this tonight because they had kind of a rare thing happen where they had like relatives coming through and people from their lineage coming through like how do you explain that well i don't know that we can't promise that that won't happen tonight okay um sometimes it could be people that you knew in life and sometimes it's people that have been watching over you before you were even born um but they've taken on a role of watching over you and you know like they've known you since before you were even here ed and lorraine came here they kind of brought the world to understand this place and like, do you find it weird that you guys now are like modern day have these gifts there's kind of a weird connection there I, I feel like with Ed and Lorraine and you two it's we've heard that a couple times and I think it's kind of surreal for us to really think of it like that your gifts are about to be like out there like it's no. been that's like scary. years <laughs> yeah that's kind of scary half of the people that are going to find out are going to hate us half of the people are going to think we're communicating with demons like you know we're yeah. so scared of that and now we've just gotten to a point where we're like well the world should know either way whether you agree with it or not well this is great i think we're gonna just get our gear ready wait for the sun to go down and then we should go in together and get to it Wait, that's Starlink. Is oh, it, it is Starlink. Starlink. Holy yeah. shit. Oh, oh it I've is never Starlink. Seen that. No way. That's sick. Oh, I got it on camera. I've never seen that before. You know, so many people are going to call and say that it's a UFO. That is so cool. Thanks, Elon. I've never seen that. Dude, that is sick. That's actually so it's cool. It's a good way to start the conjuring house. We are in the future, dude. We are in the future. Wow. Okay. We just saw Starlink in the sky, so that was pretty cool. But now I'm ready to see some ghosts. I'm ready. I'm ready. It's just another day for me, but I'm excited for you guys. We're nervous for you to see it. Yeah? Yeah, because it could be received in multiple different ways. <sighs> All right, here we go. Dude, this is wild. At least it's warmer. First steps in. Hi, house. Hello, house. Oh. Okay, this is kind of cool. Connor, do you wanna, if it gets crazy, I'm probably gonna call you in just Please. to see it for your own eyes. I literally need to. Connor is parked in the van at the front of the yard, just making sure no one trespasses and whatever, but if it gets crazy, we're gonna bring him in to witness it too. Let me know. Okay, be on walkie or be on call. I will. Anybody getting any initial feelings walking in here? Your senses? Uh, I'm feeling kind of stupid. You're this door won't door. close. <laughs> I kind of, let's go just explore the basement. Yeah. Let's yeah. go check that out. Do you want to go first or do you want to? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. Your idea, Doc. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, it's big. So the well room is right in here. Okay. A lot of people theorize that the well kind of energizes the rooms above it because it seems like the three most active areas are almost on top of each other. This is it. This is it. It goes down quite a ways. Oh my goodness. That's huge. Wow. Is there anybody down here with us? I know we have some new faces here. My name is Dakota. We have Chelsea here to my right. Tanner and Alex. I keep hearing like what sounds like it's almost like swooshing of like clothes. Yeah, yeah. That's what I thought I heard too. That's what I'm hearing. It's probably coming from the back. Let's 
go check that yeah, out. Check it Tanner, let's follow you. Okay, it's just this. Oh, what's going on, Cody? <coughs> what is going on? Can we turn this off? Conjuring house is boiling. It's cursed. The conjuring house is boiling. Better safe than sorry. Yeah. Yeah, for right now. Well, we'll I like just started like when we walked down here. Yeah. Because that is not a lot of water. No, it literally just started. just started. You can see the puddle right there. There's not that much. <laughs> Let's keep exploring a little bit and then maybe we find somewhere in the house to set up and have you guys officially hold hands. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, we really need to coin a phrase for it. Yeah. <laughs> Do the Cody and Satori method. Cast yeah. yeah. method. I think the cast method. That's cool. The cast yeah. method. The cast yeah. method. Yeah. We'll call it that. Yeah. Definitely want to come back down here later. Yeah. Going up to the second floor now. My goodness. So this was Andrea's room. Andrea Perrin, the eldest of the Perrin daughters. This is where she stayed. That's scary. I really want to see, like, where's the closet? The, the famous closet. This is the chimney closet? Yeah. So this is where the spirit of the boy would appear. The spirit of the boy, right in here. That is a creepy, that's a closet. That is a creepy closet. That is so creepy. We have friends for you. We promise they won't do anything to harm you. They just want to talk to you tonight. So keep that in mind while they're here, okay? Well, I'm about to be the bent neck man. Oh, I know, dude. My back is like, my lower back is already spent. <laughs> what room is this? So this is Christine and Nancy's room. So um, at nighttime, the second floor was all the girls' floor. And, um, you know, they experience everything under the sun as far as paranormal activity up here. Apparitions, voices, people with longer hair getting their hair played with. Did you know. hear that? Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Definitely heard that. Well, I'm just too curious about the cast method. <laughs> I think yes. we should go downstairs and attempt to attempt it. All right, be All careful right. on these stairs. It's time to ask some questions. <laughs> Here we go, this is the moment. This is exactly what we've been talking about for so long. Okay. You guys are gonna hold hands. Yes. And then we just kind of just feel the atmosphere and just ask questions out loud. You're gonna hear them walk in. If they're, if they're here, you're gonna hear them come into the room. Yeah. And that's when we know somebody's here. All, All right. right, you ready? Yeah. I guess as ready as we're gonna be. Oh. Okay. I'm really freaking scared. <laughs> it's a lot of spelling, so you're Sorry. gonna get sick of the alphabet. Yeah, but that's okay. okay. That's okay. All right, so just wait and listen and give them a second, all right? Ready? Mm -hmm. So if you're here, you might hear my voice, wherever you are, I'm going to ask you to come into the room, I'm standing, yo, yo I feel it on my, yeah. I'm waving, it's underneath my feet, yeah, it's standing right in front of us, okay, I hear you, so what I'm going to have you do, is I'm going to have you stop moving for a second, Whatever noise you're doing, I'm going to ask how many people that are passed on, spirit, are in this room right now. Seven. Seven? Okay. So I'm going to play an alphabet game. I'm sure you know. I'm going to go through the alphabet. When I get to the first letter you knock, I will restart when I get to the second letter you knock and I'll keep restarting until we spell it out, okay? Okay. I'm going to ask for your first name. Ready? A. A. 
B, mm -hmm. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. It's Abigail. Abigail Arnold. It's great oh. to talk to you tonight. Oh my God. Are you spelling? All right. How many words? Okay. Two. Yeah. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, 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 A, B, C, D, E, people, okay, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, H, okay, A, B, C, D, E, here, there are other people here, Okay. Do you recognize these people? Have you seen them before? No. no. Do you think they're tagalongs? Okay. What's a tagalong? Tag someone someone not from us. From us. What? Wait, what? say that. Someone from us, like someone that's been following us. Oh gosh. So how many do you not recognize out of the other six? All of them. Okay, so there's six other people you don't recognize. Okay, just confirming. Okay. Can I? I have the two. I need to stand up. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Whoever's the loudest to come forward, and Abigail, you can help them. We'll do one person at a time. Okay. Hi. Hello. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O O A B C D E F G H I J K L M Tom A B B A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O O A B C D E F G G Gee. I think I know who's here. G A B C D E E A B C D E F G H I J K L M N Tom Bogan, is that what that just said? Mm -hmm. Oh, oh my God, dude. There's excitement here. That's my grandpa who passed away about a year ago. He's saying something. Tommy, are you here? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Your memory's back? Oh my God, dude. No way. Oh, that's really deep. <laughs> my you okay? Do you want to take a Oh, break? I'm okay. My grandpa passed away like two years ago. And he had Alzheimer's. And uh, he didn't have his memory for the last like year or two of his life. So I'm happy if this is you, Tommy, and this is for real, like, so happy that you have your memory back. <sighs> Spelling? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, A, B, C, D, E, L, tell, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, A, 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 B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, where are you right now? Tell M A R. Tell M A R. A B C D E F G H I. Marie. Marilyn. Yes. What do you What do you want us to tell Marilyn? It's my grandmother. A B C D E F G H I J K L. Love her. That you love her. Okay. She knows. We all love you, Tommy. I don't know if you noticed how hard it hurt when you left us, but you were so loved. So many of us care about you. Every time I am on the golf course, I think about you. Yeah, I think that was an I know. More? 
Do you have anything you want us to know, Tommy? Chelsea's here too. Yes. <laughs> A B C D E F G H I. Word I. A. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R. Party. I was at my party. No. There more. Or is that just, do you guys know what that means? I mean, when he passed away, he... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a big loud knock. That's <laughs> uh, fucking hard. When he passed away, he, he said he didn't want to have a funeral. He wanted to have be a party. Yeah. So he was there. Tommy, can you tell me something, a story, or something that you can say that just maybe will help me really know that this is you? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W W A B A B C D E F G H I J K L P O L L Polly. You're asking where Polly is? Is that a yes? I think so. I think there's multiple people kind of getting in the middle of it. Yeah. Polly's back in Minnesota right now. She's with the family. We're far away from her, but she's she's back at home. She's near Maryland. Okay. More? Okay. A, B, C, C. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N C O N A B C D E F G H I J K L M N C O N N Connor? Is someone here for Connor? Are they trying to interrupt? Okay, I get what's going on. Someone's okay. Someone's here for Connor and they're trying to interrupt? Yeah, it seems like they're all excited and running around. And is this the person who's here for Connor? Do you want him to come inside before we go further? Okay. All right, let's break, yeah. while we get break for a second. Break. Yeah, it's tough, man. I'm sorry. Oh, like I said, I can't. Ah, oh, this just sucks. It was a hard, a really hard death. He was like my best friend. Oh my goodness. Ooh, this really hurts. Sorry, for my God. I didn't think it would happen this fast. Dude, it's fucking messed up. I hope you can make it. It's a lot to take in for the first time, this I think. But I feel like we're traumatizing people. Like, I don't want to, like, upset anybody. I think once he accepts that his grandfather's still around, then you can turn the sadness into faith. I guess. There's a lot of people that want to talk, and I think he's going to come back again at some point. <laughs> Makes me feel bad. <laughs> I like just have like a hard time wrapping my mind around the whole thing, honestly. Like, like it's just like so personal that it's like it's like a lot to take in. My skeptical brain would say like, okay, you could you could dig up Tom Bogan, you could dig up Marilyn, you could dig up Polly, like all the names coming through, you could dig that, but. You, but I know I was at my party part is like, and now there's something in there wanting to talk to you. So just be ready, man. It's freaking weird. I don't know who's going to come through. I don't know who's in your path. I'm really nervous. <laughs> just be ready. I, I'm not. Fuck that. We got Connor in here now. Do you want me to get you tissues or something? Oh, I'm okay. I'll be okay. I'll be okay. okay. Are you okay with doing this? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I'd like to ask. Oh. All right. So if you guys are still here, let's see. All right. You're still here. Okay. Somebody's fast. Okay. We have Connor. So whoever's here for Connor, I'm going to ask you to step forward. Okay. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, 
G-H-I-J-K-L-M-N-O-O A A B C D E F G H there over where? <laughs> behind the couch. Okay. Can you ask them to say their name for me? That's my phone. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, N. A, B, C, D, E, E. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, a B C D E F G H I J K L Neil Can I get a last name? A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S A B You got it? Neil Snow. Mm-hmm. So we can hear that. So if you have a message, we can get that to Connor. Is there a message? Okay. O P Q R S T U V. Love you. Okay. Very standoffish, whoever this is. Like they're like, I, I want to get a message, but I'm not going to get involved. Is there a message? Connor, what was the name that came through for you? Neil Snow. Who is that? My grandpa who died like five months ago. Oh man. I didn't even post about it on social media or anything. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I can actually feel yeah. the knocks on my feet. Yeah. yeah, you can feel the vibrations underneath your feet. Do you guys want to keep going? Yes, yes. please. Okay. Yeah. A, B, Rob. People are also here for Rob. Rob? Rob. Rob. It's my dad's name. Robert. Yes. yes. Okay. So, you, so there's people that want to get a message to Rob. What's their name? A B C C. A B C D E F G H A. Charles. Charlotte. Charlotte. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. Anybody else? That's his. That's his grandma. Yeah. That's our great grandma. So is it kind of like a let Rob know Charlotte's watching situation or around? A, oh. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, Rob. Rob? This, Rob? Is there a spirit named Rob? Okay, so Charlotte and Rob. Who could that be? I almost got their buggy's name. I don't know his full name. Here, you have to come close. Wait, so is that saying that I'm trying to put it all together? So I think I asked if it was if this a was spirit a spirit named Rob, Rob, and they said yes. yes. What is Grandpa Buggy's name? I don't know. I need to call your dad. Yeah, I'm gonna text my dad and just ask. Well, I'll just ask my dad if we have any other Robs in the family and what uh, his grandpa's full name was because we know him as Bucky. Well, maybe we can get more clarification on who Rob is. It's up to you guys. Yeah. I keep love going? Uh, honestly, keep going. I'd love to know. Are there other people kind of fighting their way through? Because I'm hearing footsteps everywhere. Okay. A, B, C, D, E. Tanner? Is there somebody for him? Okay, you're asking for Tanner? A, B, C, C, A, 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 B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. Carol. Mm-hmm. Last name? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, K. Q is. Mm-hmm. Is there something you'd like to say? Okay, I'll just start spelling, okay? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. 
H I J K L M James. James. Tell no way. Mary. Mary. With James. No. Okay. Oh, dear. A B C D E F G H I J K L D E F G H I J K. Okay. Okay. We are okay, is that what they said? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are okay. Is there anything else? Uh, it's my, Stay right here, okay? It's my uh, mom's my mom's parents. Um, my mom misses them every single day. I miss them every single day. Oh, they're the definition of grandma and grandpa, man. They are, they were just the greatest people of all time. Oh, and I can't believe they said tell Mary, because she misses them so badly. Usually everyone that comes through has a specific message. Yeah. And they want to get that across. It's almost like they have a certain amount of time, so it's like they're like, okay, this, 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 done. Right. You know? So it's... I'm gonna turn a light on really quick. I wasn't expecting any of that. No. I didn't think anyone was gonna be here for me. <laughs> oh, it's Sad. weird because like when we first started doing this, we used to get so emotional like while everything was yeah. happening with everybody, and now we're just like so like we we have to turn ourselves alphabet. off. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. So that's why we're so chill about it because we <laughs> had to like break yeah. our emotions and turn for them off. Real. <laughs> the heck, you guys? I don't, I don't, people are always like, take off your shoes and all that. I'm like, no, it's not, it's not in the shoes, it's not under us. And no matter what, people aren't gonna believe us. And we're at the point where we're like, it's okay, it's for people that are supposed to believe it and supposed to have it happen, so. What do you guys think <laughs> on like, heaven and all that? Like, what is the, what is next? Now, after this, my religious beliefs are definitely skewed a bit, for mm -hmm. sure. Um, out of everybody, and we've talked to probably hundreds of spirits at this point, a majority of them have referred to where they're at as the good place, a good place. They haven't referred to it as a specific name. Maybe that's just because everybody has different beliefs and they just have this broad thing that they're calling it. Mm -hmm. While we're all here, I do have an update. So my parents, sent the message back and that grandpa Bucky, his name was Robert. What? Oh. And Charlotte, who came through, that's her husband. That's her husband. Oh. So they're together, oh. together. and they're watching over everyone. Oh. Like we didn't, me and Chelsea didn't even know that his name was Robert. We just yeah, always we called him Bucky, Bucky. Just Grandpa Bucky. Well, do you guys want to try another burst of this? Yeah. yeah. And at some point, we can also try having somebody stand between us if you want. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get back here. Hi, you are louder. Got some more energy? Is this Abigail? Awesome, I'm so happy you're still with us. Are there other people still with us? Okay, can I ask who? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, J, A, 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 B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, A, B, C, D, E, James. James? Mm-hmm, yes. James for Tanner? Okay. I, J, K, L, M, N, N, more. So, so what is, the, where are we at? Tell George. Mary, George, and, and then we have A, N, N. Wait. Wait. Let's, let's finish the sentence and we'll figure it out. Okay, A, N, N. Is that it? A, N, N. Is there more? A, Anna. Anna. Tell Mary, George, and Anna are with you. Okay. Do you know who they are? No. I'm gonna so write this down. So somebody that Mary would know. Ask your mom. Uh, what? 
I have okay. goosebumps all over my body. I don't even know what this means. So James said, tell Mary that George and Anna are with me. Okay. That's pretty much it. And you have no idea who George and Anna are? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, my. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P. Parents? You're with your parents? Your so your grandparents. Is that your great grandparents, Tanner? I don't know. I didn't, I never met them. They're very loud, oh, whoever they yeah. are. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! What? My what? mom just said parents. No way, dude. So, oh, that that's that's wild. That is You never knew that. I never I never met I never got to meet them. The only Wow. Wow. I'm sorry. I've like Oh, man. Oh. Wow. Would you like to say something to him? Do you want to get in the middle? Do you want to feel? Sure. So, can you do something? Can you stomp your feet? Okay. Can you walk around a little bit? Can you come stand in front of him? And then if we... Little, little louder. There you go. Would you like to say anything? I don't even know what to say <laughs> at this point. I'm... Uh, are you okay? Yes. Yeah. You have your memory back? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Do you have another message or anything? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, Q, R, S, T, T. A F G H I J K L M N O Okay. That's just the big one. Okay. Good. Oh my goodness. Ooh. That is unreal. Oh my goodness, wow. So now we've confused you all for like <laughs> <Yeah>. ever. Yeah. <laughs> if we have one job here in this life, like for us, this is it. And like, it's just as simple as we're just the messenger machine to get you guys what you need and then we're done. Like that's just, that's it for us. I know you said that they don't usually move things, but I'd be really curious to like ask, like I feel like that would be like the cherry on top for us to, to see something with our eyes. The skeptic in me wants to like hear a word that's like, that's that person. That's the skeptic side of me. Oh, my mind, my brain hurts. I don't know, like it's just so much. Like the fact that how you guys like, like came through with more family stuff than we even know. I'm like, we have to sharpen up on our family. I know. <laughs> well, I promise I have not stalked any of you guys. <laughs> Al, what are you thinking? You know what? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little more depressed that there's no one watching over me. <laughs> <laughs> like. <laughs> It's nowhere near us right now. Is it in the basement? I don't know. Where are you? Can I'm gonna name floors wherever you are, you knock, okay? This floor? Basement? Upstairs? Can you come down here? Can you come down here? Can you come to this floor? Yeah. Hi. How are you? Good? Is this Abigail? 
So we're going to ask you to try something, okay? Take a couple seconds to try to talk as loud as you can. Yell, say something. We'll give you a couple seconds. Ready? Go. Question for you. If I, like, if one of us went upstairs and like laid in the bed, could you tell these spirits to go walk up there? We can try. And would the knocking be apparent to that person up there and not down here? I've never tried it before. I'm gonna try it. You want to? I just want to see like if the knocking can follow me upstairs because then it's like I don't know how to explain that. Try it. Go for it. I'm just gonna go up to the second floor. I just went upstairs. Is there anybody in here with me? Can you sit on that rocking chair? I don't know how far our energy vicinity goes. Try really hard to make him hear you. Can you try to maybe touch him on the shoulder or make a loud noise? Can you give me a sign? Do they have a hard time when they're suit, like a certain distance from them? See what happens. Do you guys want to try standing like just at the end of the stairwell? Maybe just getting a couple feet closer, maybe that'll help. All right, we're trying to send you to Dakota. If you could try to make a noise as close to him as you can. I don't know if there's a vicinity that you have to stay. Can you grab my hand? It was worth a shot. I just wanted to see if something would maybe follow me up here. These spirits are really stuck with Cody and Satori. I just wanted to see if it would maybe follow. Yeah. Well, they did. Yeah. I know they did. Yeah. I don't know how the vicinity works of what we do. It seems like you guys have, there's like some sort of radius that you guys mm. like emit. What happened while I was gone? Did anything else? I just left. It literally yeah. followed, just followed you and walked away. It completely disappeared. But for whatever reason, it couldn't make a tap happen near you. Jeez. So what you guys want to do? I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't want to go to the basement. Yeah. Yeah. Could we do this in the basement? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Maybe we go to that room with the well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where it's a little more quiet. I do think like right now we should probably wrap up. This is, this will be the end of part one of our experience here at The Conjuring. And we're gonna move on to part two. We still have many more hours we're gonna be here tonight, but this has just been going so wild. We know we have so much footage and you do not wanna miss this next part. We don't know where, what's gonna happen. We don't know if we're gonna be experiencing the conjuring spirits more or our relatives again. We'll see. But if you wanna see that next video, definitely hit the notification bell, subscribe to be notified when that video is uploaded. Comment below where you found the hidden rubber duck in this video. Like this video, share this video. We love you and we will see you next week.